See ya. Good morning, I'm Lynn Neary. Those old fish stories about the one that got away may soon be a thing of... It's coming up on 19 minutes past 8 o'clock. You're listening to Morning Edition here on OPB Radio. Salem and Corvallis all reporting a cloudy sky and 52 degrees. In the, the Bush administration has nominated a controversial young lawyer to the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals in Atlanta. Alabama's in Iraq have taken Dr. Rehab Taha into custody. The Iraqi scientist known as Dr. Germ for her work in creating weapons grade anthrax surrendered. She had been negotiating the radiation bomb goes off in Seattle. At the same time, terrorists unleash a biological agent in Chicago. That's the scenario for a week-long homeland security drill that begins today. It's the most extensive. For several years, Oregon has shouldered the designation of hungriest state in the nation. But now some are skeptical of the findings. The season was particularly tough for Pluto. The resort had to close for 10 days in January because of the warm weather and rain. And speaking of weather, if the skies are clear Thursday night, step outside and watch a total lunar eclipse. The eclipse will start at 8.13 p.m. The moon will remain totally eclipsed for 53 minutes. In the weather forecast today for western Oregon, partly cloudy with any chance of showers today. Highs in the upper 50s. This is OPB. They're hopeful that the drop shows the epidemic in the city hardest hit is on the wane. But the World Health Organization <coughs> is not so sure how to <coughs> the decline in new cases and deaths. And everyone continues to worry about the spread of SARS outside China's capital city. Joining me from Beijing is National Bike to Work Day is May 16th, online at Shimano.com.